Cats are often elusive and distant animals. When a family's cat started behaving angrily and wouldn't let the baby sleep alone, their owners decided to investigate. What they discovered shocked them and they immediately called the police. Jesse and David were a happy and loving couple. They had been together for about 10 years and married for about 8 years. They had a house, well-paid jobs and had built an amazing life for themselves. David worked for the government in the high security sector while Jesse was a lecturer at the local university. They lived alone with their cat, but that didn't mean they were lonely. When they weren't working, Jesse and David often hosted parties or went out. They had a very active social life and Jesse especially loved spending time with her best friend Anne, whom she had met at work five years ago. She had even become friends with David and when Jesse and David found out they were pregnant, there was no doubt about who they wanted as their child's godmother. The pregnancy went smoothly, but there was one problem. The male cat, Buddy, started behaving strangely around Jesse. He would sniff her belly as the baby grew and then run away, seemingly worried and anxious. This concerned David so much that he even took Buddy to the vet to see if something was wrong with him. The vet determined that the cat was perfectly fine. Perhaps the animal could sense that something was amiss with the baby. Animals have very sharp and intelligent senses and can perceive many things, so the vet advised Jesse to see a doctor as soon as possible. Though it was a shock, David and Jesse did as they were told just to be sure. Fortunately, the doctors found no issues with either the mother or the infant. Buddy's behavior remained a mystery, and several months later, Jesse finally gave birth to a beautiful little girl whom they named Lily. It was a beautiful name, and it truly suited the tiny child. The cat showed interest in the baby and the new parents were nervous because they didn't know how he would react to the new addition to the family, but to their great delight he seemed to enjoy it and purred loudly as he sniffed the child. That wasn't what they had expected but he had gone from being angry and irritated to friendly and loving toward Jessie's pregnancy. It even seemed like Buddy was genuinely in love with Lily and wanted to look after her. He followed David and Jessie into Lily's bedroom all the time and would jump into the crib when they laid her down to sleep but he would always curl up next to her and not move until Lily woke up and started moving. After Lily's birth, everything returned to normal with the cat and he remained affectionate and attached to the new child. There was absolutely nothing to worry about except that Buddy refused to let Lily sleep alone at night. But there could have been worse things. Of course, even new parents need a break once in a while. So David and Jesse decided to host a small party at their house. Nothing wild or crazy, just inviting a few of their closest friends. Jesse cooked, David bought drinks and they put Lily to bed before the first guest arrived with Buddy snuggling up next to her as usual. An hour later, the kitchen was filled with eight of their best friends engaged in conversation. Occasionally, one of the guests would check on Lily who was sound asleep while Buddy silently watched over her. Jesse was more than happy to see that, but a few seconds later, Anne returned with a worried look on her face. Buddy had tried to attack her. He hissed and growled at her like a wild animal. He was even on the verge of sinking his razor-sharp claws into Anne's arm while she remained silent. David and Jesse found it strange that the cat had only targeted Anne. Perhaps he had detected a strange scent on her. They didn't discuss the matter any further and enjoyed the party. But after everyone left a few hours later, Jesse and David started talking. Maybe Anne had done something to Buddy. However, neither Jesse nor David believed she was capable of harming a cat. Perhaps Buddy had been overly protective of Lily. Then the question arose of why the cat had only reacted that way towards Anne. What if it was something else? That's why they decided to order a few nanny cams for Lily's room. They had neglected to do so before because the room was very close to their bedroom and the rest of the house, which meant they would immediately hear if something wasn't right. But maybe a camera was exactly what they needed to solve this mystery. A few days later, two small cameras arrived and David installed them. One he placed among some teddy bears on a bookshelf, and the other was mounted on the ceiling in the opposite corner of the room, where it couldn't be seen. It seemed to work perfectly and the trap was set. If something was going on, they would capture it. A few weeks later, while at work, David reviewed the footage. He saw Jesse moving around the room, tidying up while Lily took a nap. And suddenly, Anne entered, and the cat immediately pounced on her as if he didn't trust her. But why? She hadn't done anything wrong, she was just there, she was helping Jesse with the housework. That's what friends do, right? She walked around the room, going from one corner to another, dusting and cleaning. She must have done a thorough job. Throughout it all, Buddy kept his eyes on her. Something was off, and David felt really uneasy about it. When he came home, he told Jesse about it. If they wanted to dig deeper, they needed to hurry to Lily's room. 
David kissed his daughter and petted the cat. There he noticed that the cameras were still dusty, except for a handprint on each side as if the entire unit had been moved or pushed aside. It was indeed very strange. Jessie thought her best friend had cleaned them, but that clearly wasn't the case. To find out what was really going on, they began clearing away the drawers. David's eyes widened when he saw a hole in the wall. Inside were photocopies of important documents from his government work, confidential details and information that only he and his colleagues should have. How did they end up there? Next to them lay a Russian passport and some other documents that David didn't recognize. David didn't want to touch anything and instead called the police. Within minutes, officers were in the room and confirmed that they were stolen government information that could have been extremely dangerous in the wrong hands. The police identified Anne as a Russian named Olga. Further investigation revealed that she was a missing Russian agent they had lost track of about six years ago. The police arrested Anne immediately. Back on the property, David and Jesse had never felt so betrayed in their lives. It was evident that Anne, or should they call her Olga, had taken advantage of their friendship to steal sensitive documents and take them goodness knows where. Suddenly, David had a realization. He rushed to his laptop, opened the camera software and scrolled back through the weeks since he had installed them, and there he noticed something truly unsettling. At night, Anne silently climbed through Lily's window and sneaked into a corner of the room. She carried a small flashlight and a phone, often leaving the room with a few sheets of paper. She quietly closed the window behind her, and every time, Buddy the cat watched her vigilantly. Sometimes he even attempted to attack her, but all along, he had no good intentions and did his best to protect Lily. Yes, he may have been a grumpy and sometimes overly protective cat, but in this case, his instincts seemed to be right. David, Jesse, and the police couldn't thank him enough. What do you think of this unusual story?